1992, a woman named Elizabeth Nash, uh, who herself was visually impaired, had a couple of sons who were dragon boaters, and she thought that would be a good sport for people that are blind or visually impaired. So they put out the word to see if a team was willing to take on a blind paddler. In 1993, one team did. A blind guy hopped on the boat, seemed he could paddle pretty well. So in 1994, the Eye of the Dragon was formed, and it was a 50-50 mix between uh, sighted paddlers and blind paddlers. And in the first year, they were a novice team, they didn't practice very much, and they were in the lowest division, finished dead last. But uh, ever since then, have been improving, practicing more, practicing better and uh, more and more committed uh, to the point of where they are now, which is often ending up in the uh, competitive division. So when I'm looking at myself, what I see is I follow my finger. So, okay, there I see my full finger. And when I move it across, it's out of my line of vision now. And I keep moving it out, keep moving it out. And actually there, I actually see my finger again. So I move it back across. I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't. Now I see it. And I move my finger back the other way. Oops. Don't see it. I actually don't see it anyways. Showing off? Yeah. <laughs> Spend hours and hours and hours practicing, and you forget. You forget why, until you're on the start line at Alcan, and your heart is in your throat, and you have to remember to breathe, and and every muscle in your body is just just ready to 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 execute what you've been doing for the last five or six months. In dragon boating, we have a command where we're ready to start paddling, and it's paddles up, take it away. And uh, that's exactly what I'm doing in life now, is I'm just paddles up and taking it away. I haven't totally, and I probably will never totally accept it. You know, it's not something that I chose, you know, and, and I do still have the moments, why did this happen to me? But that doesn't stop me from adjusting and, and, you know, learning to do things in different ways and still carrying, carrying on. The rest of society, and it's not just with visually impaired and blind people, but they, they sometimes don't know how to interact with folks in that community. They, they have preconceptions about what visually impaired or blind people can and can't do. And so seeing us out there performing in a sport where really being visually impaired is little or no handicap, um, I think it's really important. Who are you? I am the dragon! What do you say? We can't